Oh my gosh. This is my favorite one. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite one. This shake right here with the lemon Oreos right here. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. I am a registered ER nurse, self-taught chef, and foodie. If you've been here before, then welcome back. So, I decided to make another shake video because I keep getting requests for more shakes. You guys love my last shake video. So this one, I wanted to do something for the holidays, something that, that kind of is more comforting. So I have put together three of my top favorites that I have been doing that taste good. So you can be sipping your shake even with this holiday madness that's going around. I know there's a lot of macaroni and cheese floating around here, dressing and, and pies. So we're gonna put it in a shake today, okay? And in case you just wanna enjoy for the holidays, come right back to this video. Go ahead and save this video cause you will be back. And here's my shakes, let's get into it. that we're going to do is has been my favorite i love it because i'm a caramel person so it's a salted caramel butter pecan shake very simple not too many ingredients all you will need are y'all ready for this all you will need pecans so i got some right here we're going to use cashew milk Cashew milk is 100% dairy-free, tastes really good. Um, I've been enjoying this. I still use almond milk. And then for sweetener, you can use different things. You can use agave. Um, some people like to use honey in their shakes and it's so many different uh, sweeteners. Pick the one that you want. Today, I'm gonna be using some stevia. This is a zero calorie sweetener. The protein powder that I will be using came from Sprouts, salted caramel. That way you don't have to go out and buy the syrup and, and all the extra stuff to try to get that flavor. I like to make my stuff on the go. Y'all already know, all of my shakes are usually on the go because I'm always working, I'm always doing something. So you guys know that I use my Blendjet blender. Um, and unfortunately, I left my Blendjet blender at work. So I'm just going to be using a different blender today, but that's how I like my stuff to have like very simple ingredients. Look, my stevia, it's a packet. Something easy, I can pack my lunch. Look, my shake, this, you can put these in a little Ziploc bag. I just got it on here to try to be a little cute for the video. Give y'all a little fancy. And then this, I just put this in like a little water bottle, a little twist jar, and I put this in my lunchbox. Sometimes, especially with my blend jet, I just pour everything in and I have the milk on the side because I like to keep that cold. I put all of this already in there. Only have to pour the milk or the water, blend it, and I'm gone. Y'all know I have a coupon code, which I'm gonna link it in uh, the description box. If you wanna get you a blend jet so you can be on the go with your journey, to, cause your journey follows you everywhere, okay? Um, I will put that in the description box um, and get y'all a blend jet if you want it, if you want it. Um, but today, I will be using my Ninja. It's not sponsored or anything, but it is a gift from one of my subscribers. Trying to see, but you got me a ninja? A ninja? You wanted the shake video that bad. You wanted this shake video that bad for me that you got, a, got me a ninja. But no, seriously, thank you so much. I have been enjoying it, uh, especially when I go to work and leave my blend jet. It's good to have one at home too. And I get to make more shakes. It came with, you know, two little cups, so I'm gonna use it in my video today. Let's get into this video. Let's get into the shakes. It's very simple. Opening up my vegan protein powder. So I love how they have this by the big jar, but if you want to, you can just get a little packet like this. That way you don't have to buy this $30 big uh, protein powder if you're not gonna be using it and you wanna switch up your flavors. So this is gluten-free. 
soy-free and easy to digest. It has 20 grams of protein. So if you're someone who likes more of like a high protein diet, ever since I've been like doing my little working out and like moving more, I know I like protein. Um, five grams of carbs, three grams of fat, not that bad and it's delicious. Um, 120 calories, you cannot beat that. So let's make it. So we're just going to add a whole packet in here. I guess if you add half of the packet, then it'll be 10 grams of protein, don't y'all think? But anyway, <laughs> I want the protein today. I have a lot of different things to do. All right, so we added our protein powder in there. The next thing that we're going to do is, of course, this is about um, a tablespoon and a half of pecans. So I'm not gonna use the whole thing, I'm just gonna save it because I wanna use it to top it. Cause you know, we like to make it cute. So, we're going to top that, and I saved a little bit. So next thing we're going to do is add our sweetener. You can use, like I said, whatever you want. I'm using stevia. So I'm going to actually add two packets of stevia in there. Okay. Then we're going to do the cashew milk. I usually put in about a cup of cashew milk. Next part, we're gonna add some ice. All right, very simple. That's legit it. You can add all of your extra additives in it if you want to like add, but I like to be very quick. The less ingredients, the more I'll stick to. We're just gonna screw that on. I like to shake mine up a bit. I do that when I'm using my blend jet, and then I just see that it, like everything gets blended well. So I'm gonna do it with this one. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Right. You can shake this up and, and do it on the go if you don't even have a blender. All right, so now I got my frosted glass. Y'all know I love my frosted glass. Like, I drink shakes all the time, so I'm always doing like new creative ways to enjoy my shakes because shakes are gonna always be a part of my journey. Let's see. So I'm just pouring it in. Half of the time when I'm at work, I don't have like the toppings and stuff on it. I do that like especially when I'm at home. But since I'm here, I'm using some whipped cream, 100% vegan. I'm gonna add some pecans on top. Look at that. All right, shake one complete. Salted caramel, salted caramel butter pecan, okay? Very simple and it tastes good. No aftertaste, this is bomb. This is bomb. All right, let's. Let's go to the next shake. For one, the main ingredient is banana. And if anybody know, when you're doing any type of smoothie with banana, this is the star of it. So for the second one, our shake is the banana nut muffin. So all you will literally need is banana, walnuts, your protein powder, and whatever almond milk, um, cashew milk, coconut milk, whichever dairy-free milk of your choice. And I like to help my blender out. Even if it's powerful, I like to help mine out. I just cut mine up. I add in walnuts. So I add in about a tablespoon of walnuts. I'm going to add in a little stevia. Um, I'm going to add in cinnamon. Then my protein powder. I'm going to actually do almond milk with this. I've been loving Simply Almond almond milk. And that's another thing. Switch up your milk sometimes so everything won't taste the same. In our last one, we used cashew milk. This one, we're using almond milk. So I add about a cup in here. And then the last thing, we're gonna add some ice. All right, 
Once you have everything added, just blend it up. I got my glass. Everything's all blended up and smoothed. Just gonna pour it in. Got my walnuts that's left over. Take your walnuts. Put them on top. Simple ingredients, a good shake. I've already told y'all about the salted caramel butter pecan shake. Add the banana nut muffin. Now, let's move on to shake number three. All right, y'all, last but not least, this one has been my ultimate favorite. It's something different. Just when I kind of want a different taste. I don't know. And I probably like it because I use Oreos. Okay. So this one is the lemon icebox pie. Um, it's all with what you tell your mind it is. If you say it's a lemon icebox pie, it's a lemon icebox pie. But you don't have to deal with the consequences after eating a lemon icebox pie. Okay. So I have the Oreos. Thin. I put these in. Of course, I'm gonna put some on top, but I like to blend some in. I then use lemon to make it cute, to make it good. This is your journey. Make it fun, make it interesting. A lot of people ask me, how do I stay on my journey? It's because I do things like this. I have not just a boring water and protein shake. I have a, a lemon icebox shake. I have a strawberry cheesecake shake. I have a... um butter pecan shake a banana nut muffin like add things little things to your shake one cookie is not going to be the difference between you reaching your goals and not reaching your goals have that cookie just don't have 50 cookies that's that's it and that's how my results have been paying off the numbers on the scale going down the inches around the waist always going down because it's a journey it gets easier it's balanced, y'all. So we're gonna put a little zest on this. Um, we're gonna use a little bit um, as garnish. Then also, I like to put in one of these. It's a actually a beverage that I drink like whenever I don't want to drink water, um, which is never because I always want to drink water. But like when I just kind of want to elevate my water a little bit, give it a little flavor. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I like to use. Um, this is non-GMO. Um, I know some people may like to use crystal light, other things like that. Um, I just like this. It's 10 calories, one gram of sugar, non-GMO, gluten-free. When I start seeing all of that, all of that off the chocolate, I'm like, I don't need that for my body then. If y'all telling me it's, it's made with real lemons, I need real lemons. It's like, you gotta be bougie with yourself. Bougie with your body. Bougie with your health. So you just need one packet. You need protein powder, a little lemon, cause we're gonna do a little zest and a little garnish. And then you can blend it with water if you want to. I'm going to use almond milk. All right, so we're gonna put in some ice. Then we're going to take our almond milk. And like I said, I use maybe like a cup. Then we're gonna put in our protein powder. All right, now we're gonna take one of these packets. I know I did not show y'all, but inside, I forgot to say, put your two cookies inside the blender and blend it up, okay? And then we're going to take one more and put it as a topper, okay? Okay, got it. All 
All right, so pour your shake in. Then we're gonna take some cookies and actually sprinkle it on there. You see how cute this look? Look at that. Get you a cute glass. Pick your favorite shape that works for you. Get your protein powder. You can use that protein powder that's been sitting on your counter for a good couple of months. Use some of these recipes. Put things together. Find some on your own. Make it cute. Make it fun. And use that protein. It did not go to waste. Use that protein powder. So this holiday, what did I have for dessert? Lemon icebox pie. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite one. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite one. This shake right here with the lemon Oreos right here. This one is my favorite. This one, look at that. This shake right here is my favorite because you have your lemon, the cookies, and then it's like so refreshing. It like wakes you up. Like it's lemonade inside of here. Like it tastes good. I know that it's weird. You probably never thought to do this. This is delicious. All right, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys like the shakes that I came up with, something that can keep you on your journey, or if you're starting your journey, something that can help you. Um, I know that it's challenging for some people, like I'm used to it now, but I know that it's challenging for some people to like sip a shake, but I'm telling you, shakes were uh, important. I'm talking about a really important part of my weight loss journey especially if you don't like to cook, especially if you are on the go like I am, that is an important part where you can get those nutrients and you can just drink them and you don't have to worry about cooking and having to meal prep and having to do this. Just sip your shake, okay, and get to your goal weight. Um, I will be making more different shapes, but these have been in heavy rotation, something that I've been loving. If you haven't already, check out my last shake video. I have more recipes. And I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, check the description box because it may just answer some of the questions that you have. Be sure to leave me a comment on which one you try or tag me on either one of my Instagrams. Um, I have Chubby Cheeks TV. I will link it right here. And then also my personal one, just shoot me a DM and let me know if you guys tried this, any of these shakes, and let me know what you think. And I will see you in my next video. Peace. What? See you Thank you for watching Chubby Cheeks. Thank you for watching Chubby Cheeks. One, two, three. Come and get all this love. Come and get all this love. I'm talking about one-on-one. -on -one. I'm talking about all you need. I'm talking about one-on-one. -on -one.